Hi everyone, this is case number 11 of MSK series. Today's case is a 25 year old male patient presented with right knee joint pain. for 2 months duration so this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the right knee joint in a skeletally mature patient actually in this patient and the abnormality is the tibia upper tibia the it is located in the met metaphysis and extends to epiphysis subarticularly. So it's a kind of a well defined or geographic type of lytic lesion. It's a lytic lesion and it's expansile. So it has a multi lobulated appearance and it has narrow zone of transition. There's endosteous scalloping of the cortex in this region. However, no cortical breach, so it's a benign feature. And no definite sclerosis in these regions or calcifications. And no soft tissue component outside. No periosteal reaction, so it's a benign lesion. Other features are no synchronous lesions as well, no pathological fractures, knee joint is normal, fibula is also normal. So it's a benign lesion as I said previously. So the diagnosis of the lesion is chondromyxoid fibroma. Differential diagnosis are uh, aneurysmal bone cyst, second one is giant cell tumor, third one is non ossifying fibroma. So these are the three main differential diagnoses. So, in terms of uh, chondromic soil fibroma, it occurs in uh, at any age range from uh, 3 years to 70 years, but common in second and third decade of life. And it's usually a metaphysial lesion. Metaphysial lesion extends to epiphysis and uh, usually as the as we call it chondromyxoid fibroma so it has three parts it has chondroid or cartilage myxoid and fibrous tissue so since there is chondroid material calcification can occur in this chondromyxoid fibroma they are usually common in the upper one third of the tibia and sometimes occur in the distal femur and also in the small bones of the foot. So it's a benign lesion and uh, so that tends the case number 11. Thank you everyone. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make comments to our videos thank you